and it was broadcasted live and this is where the things went down <laughs> and in my mind i was like oh my god laura this is the time make sure you know your name and why are you here a cabaret dancer something like that from moulin rouge <laughs> Like, I had to go to the bathroom like four times to do you know what. I had a huge. <laughs> I was like, this is not possible. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. In this video, I'm going to do another story time to share with you guys my first. A live broadcasting experience in Romania on a local TV program from my city uh, so if you are curious to see how that was then please keep on watching and I really want to say something important that I'm really grateful and thankful for those few people that always leave me comments uh, you guys are like my friends like, you are not my subscribers like that bro first i want to tell you guys why i was invited to that tv program what was the purpose around 2013 i was very into japanese rock especially visual k uh, visual k is a lifestyle it's a music genre with few occasions uh, i liked to dress very eccentric like rockish style you know very extravagant which was kind of difficult because it it was nothing mainstream it was not a trend like no one knew about visual k and j-rock and stuff like that only the people and those people that that were passionate about the japanese culture and especially visual k i'm going to show you some photos and some footage as well we are going to watch together a little bit of that interview. Every time they invited me to a TV show, um, for example, my description or my, let's say, title, it was a Visual K promoter or Visual K artist. Uh, for me, back then, that was a very huge word um, because obviously I was just a, like a no one, like now, like a nobody from Romania. I was just a fan, you know, like a little girl who liked Visual K and to be called Visual K artist for me was extremely wonderful. Now we are going to watch a little bit from the interview. Uh, here they started to introduce me and in my mind I was like, oh my god, Laura, this is the time. Make sure you know your name and why are you here. Like, don't, don't stress yourself too much. Like, everything is okay. I was, you know, into my mind, I was trying to home myself which was of course impossible and if you watch this interview i highly suggest you actually because it has english subtitles so you will understand everything now i want to talk a little bit about my outfit uh, my outfit was of course inspired by visual k style uh, because visual k it's also a clothing style like a fashion style i had a wig over my hair my long hair and I had a corset, very old school corset, like a very short skirt with many layers of lace and with a lot of ruffles and like a, some bows, you know. I think I would describe this style as Gothic Lolita mixed with a cabaret dancer, something like that, from Moulin Rouge. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I really love that outfit. They tried so hard to make me feel comfortable even though I was dressed very like different and very crazy and strange for many people. Um, I remember that when I first started talking, oh, I was like, oh my goodness. Still to this day, I'm like, why am I was so shy? No one is going to eat me. Like, And the main reason why I was so shy, because we were live and imagine me talking and make, making a mistake. Like, you can change that. And my my heart was pumping. Like, <laughs> and I just felt so happy that I had that, that chance to, to be on TV and to talk about the things that I loved in that moment in my life. <sighs> so hot. Why is it so hot in this room? <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay, so 
I don't know exactly where I wanted to arrive or what was the main purpose for all those activities from the past. Um, but one thing I do know for sure that I had a great time and I lived in those moments. The satisfaction that I received for my soul was huge that, you know, money cannot buy. So, ah, oh, so hot here. I never took anything for granted or to play with it. Like everything was very important for me. This is the end of this video, guys. As usual, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every likes and comments. So please follow me on Instagram as well. And what else?